Hello friends, this is Borba Labanto, CPA from Concierge CPAs, and this is our Friday video update of what happened this week on Friday, May 22nd, 2020. This week felt like a short week as well, and obviously it's Memorial Day weekend, so first of all, let us honor those who gave their lives for our country. Uh, my warmest wishes on Memorial Day and deepest gratitude for the ultimate sacrifice of our fallen heroes. My great grandpa uh, passed away and fell in the Second World War right before it ended and left uh, a young wife and three little kids uh, by themselves. And my grandpa, who was 16 at the time, had to step up pretty quickly to help raise uh, his brothers. So uh, I heard a lot of stories about him, about the war. So let us thank those who have given their lives and in service of their country and uh, thank you for their invaluable sacrifice and contribution. At most places, I assume that parades will be canceled and maybe even um, other uh, memorial services are canceled, but we can still take uh, time to, you know, to visit uh, grave sites and just remember ourselves uh, at home and talk about it. I know I will. That being said, we're thinking about taking Monday off and not being open. So if you send us an email over the weekend, maybe we are gonna uh, get back to you on Tuesday morning. Uh, we still get a lot of questions regarding the SBA and PPP, and I think that those who follow this channel and have heard me talk about it uh, week after week might be really tired hearing it, but still even this week uh, we got a lot of emails, people being totally confused and not knowing what's going on in the SBA and PPP land. So just as an update, we think that cabbage.com still is accepting applications. A good number of clients were able to f uh, apply, file, and get uh, approved for the PPP loan, and they were Schedule C uh, self-employed taxpayers. So if you just got your 2019 taxes done and you do have a Schedule C, this is your time before they run out of money. Make sure that you go find either your local bank or an online bank. Again, we don't have any relationship with a lot of clients of our clients uh, went on cabbage.com and filed and were accepted. So try that. On the SBA side, uh, they are not taking applications right now. So if you have applied a couple of weeks or even months before, uh, watch your emails religiously and see if they're gonna contact you. Still, we have clients that got the up to $10,000 grant, non-refundable grant, and have not heard from the SBA since then. So we are trying to uh, help them and, you know, when, when they get uh, contacted, you know, should they accept the loan, what are the terms, what's going on, but you have to be contacted. There's no online login to see where your application is at at the current moment. Now, the new thing this week regarding the PPP is that the SBA came up with a forgiveness application. It's like a seven or eight page PDF, which I believe most banks will put into electronic format. And that's what the PPP recipients will have to fill out either online or in on, on the PDF to get their PPP loan amount forgiven. Not a lot of good uh, new uh, news regarding the PPP application, uh, forgiveness application, but one thing for sure is different, and this is the guidance that changed how a good number of clients started using the funds this week, and the change is the following. Before, they did not talk about uh, the owners, the S-Corp owners or partnership owners, payroll amount uh, being capped. We knew about the $100,000 cap, obviously that's uh, in place for everybody. But this week in the new guidance, they said that the owners can only pay themselves eight times, like eight weekly payroll of what their 2019 W-2 was. So if somebody took a $20,000 uh, W-2 last year, they cannot start paying themselves $100,000 divided by 52 times eight this year. So the maximum payroll that can be used for forgiveness calculation is $100,000 times 52 weeks times eight weeks, which is about 15,000 some 300 some dollars. So we thought everybody can pay themselves that much. Now the new guidance is no, 
you have to go and the only acceptable use is for the forgiveness ap uh, application is what you paid yourself last year, what was your W2 last year, times uh, divided by 52 times eight. So that might have changed the calculation and how you think about using this fu these funds. Obviously, you can pay yourself anything, but for, for the forgiveness, you can only use this lower, maybe lower amount. So look out for that. Maybe you can give uh, a bonus uh, to any of your employees, but you cannot, for the forgiveness application, you cannot use uh, like a high amount uh, for yourself if you have not paid yourself at least 100K last year. Obviously, this does not apply on Schedule C recipients. The guidance says that Schedule C recipients of the PPP funds have to divide their 2019 Schedule C profit, line 31 on their Schedule C, into 52, that's a weekly average uh, payroll based on last year's profits, and pay themselves that much for eight weeks. Now, obviously, they're going to have some overages because the PPP funds were calculated on two and a half months average, and we only have eight weeks to use it. So hopefully Schedule C recipients of the PPP funds do have some rent expenses or utilities or some retirement related um, costs. So if you do not have a worksheet where you track all your payroll and all these rent and utilities uh, expenses, reach out to your CPA, to your tax provider, uh, search, it for, uh, search for it online. If you contact us, for sure we can give you a sample. Uh, form that we use for our clients and and just religiously track and see how far you are from spending the PPP funds on on allowable expenses. If we hear some, anything new, you know, uh, between now and the next video, we're going to let you know. But pretty much that's it. What else happened? We did have actually four prospective clients interviews this week and actually started working with two of them and the following theme came back came up yeah, over and over again so uh, I thought it would be good to to uh, let a bigger audience know about it and the theme that came up was a lot of people still feel really optimistic about the economy and what's going on this year and how quickly we're going to rebound. And they're not afraid to start LSEs, to start businesses. Uh, yesterday, I had two appointments. Today, I already got a call from people getting contracts for like subcontractor type of contracts, freelancing contracts, and actually they're making money. And yesterday, somebody told me, Borbala, I really feel bad about telling anybody that actually I'm going to get ahead and, and, and this is going to be a good year for me because that's just not politically correct. And, and I don't, don't even want to you know, talk about it. I don't feel that it's, you know, it's nice to talk about it. And that might be the case. But that should not deter you. If you do have opportunities, and you do have uh, the drive to, to start a business, it should not deter you, uh, uh, deter you from you know, starting and actually um, acting on it. Entrepreneurs are always looking for providing value. And there's still people need value in all kinds of um, areas of life. So there is no wrong time of starting a business. Now, in most of my appointments, when I talk to uh, prospective clients, is about the uh, fact that, do you really think you're gonna do this as a freelancer, as a just a side job, a little side hassle, or do you really want to lay the foundations of a serious business and if you don't know the answer to that it's fine you don't have to you just you should have it in the back of your mind of am I setting something up is it more um, is it better for me to set something up that has the foundation of potentially growing this into a serious business or this is really just like a side hassle a couple of thousand dollars here and there for you know for me to to have um, on the side now Again, you might not know the answer, but if you really search yourself and and think about it, what are your what drives you? What would motivate you more? You can still start and be small, but you can have dreams of. I think I can do this, uh, you know, on a bigger scale. It's better for you to set up your business legally with all the aspects, so you can actually have this correct and healthy foundation to grow. For example. 
if you think that you're going to get a, a side contract, like I just, a client of mine just called me and said, I'm going to get this little contract of $1,400 uh, from somebody. You do not need a whole business plan and LLC or a corporation. But if you think that you want to do this, this is a new thing, you got laid off, uh, you have all this expertise, you, it looks like you're going to get contracts like this other client of mine, a new client this week who said, oh, my first contract is $150,000 that I'm going to get this year. And, and then he said, no, I'm, I already got contracts, you know, $20,000, $25,000 a month. Obviously, that is a different setup. It is worth for him to get out, hire somebody like us, to, to do boot camp, private boot camp with him, to set up his LLC, set up his EIN number correctly, to talk about all those tax planning opportunities, even now at this stage, that he knows what he can do. He's gonna set up QuickBooks from the get-go versus if I just have a thousand here and there, like I'm not gonna spend you know $50 on QuickBooks every month. Uh, this other new client of mine, he's investing into learning about those uh, tax planning opportunities and what he can deduct and, and strategies that's going to save him thousands and thousands of dollars. Because with twenty twenty five thousand dollars a month income coming in, he's looking in at literally twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in taxes. So it is worth for him. Now again, you might not no, you're going to get there, but just search for yourself and see where you are. Is it better for you to just start very small and learn and read about it and, uh, you know, search on, on YouTube and find out information? Or is it really uh, better because your time is so valuable to start working with a professional from the get go? So you're set up with all those systems so you don't have any surprises later, like thousands of dollars in penalties from the IRS or missed uh, registration for different taxes, or even just um, like the liability portion uh, that either, you know, if you set up an LLC, you have versus you don't. So so that was, you know, what I wanted to share. Uh, it actually, it, it's a very good time. Again, we, we got about four or five uh, inquiries, and I talked to four people this week who are starting their business, and, uh, and there are opportunities all around us. Uh, I was in Amish country this week with my friend. Actually, I took a day off after uh, so many months of, of working so hard. And and it was nice to see that there are still store doors open and you know, uh, the economy will, will uh, reopen. And I know we wanted to buy a web camera uh, last week and this week uh, for the office. And there's just no web cameras that you can find online. So everybody's you know, on Zoom and they want them. So it, it, you know, it's a good business for somebody if, <laughs> if you can get them and, and sell them online. Um, it looks like, at least I'm going to look into it, um, but it looks like I'm going to buy a kayak this weekend. And I talked to uh, a store nearby that said, oh, you have to, first of all, you have to make an appointment. And second of all, we are sold out till middle of July. So you can put an order in, but your kayaks will only come middle of June or maybe middle of July, depending on you know, which one you want, because they are just getting so many. <laughs> inquiries for it uh, with the current situation. So there's always there's always something. There's always two coins, two sides of, of the situation on the coin. So with that, I wish you a great holiday weekend. Uh, make sure that um, you thank somebody, uh, you know, who has a uh, fallen hero in their in their families and who gave their lives in service of our country. And um, have a great weekend, your families, your smaller uh, families with barbecue and stuff. And let's talk about next week. Bye-bye.